This is the Music History Today podcast for July 6th. On today's show, John meets Paul, disco hits number one, and Manfred Mann gets a lead singer. First up, though, on this date in 1953, singer Dorothy Squires married actor Roger Moore. In 1957, John Lennon met Paul McCartney for the first time, and one of the greatest musical partnerships was born. In 1963, Chubby Checker performed at a concert before the Mets baseball game in New York City. In 1964, the film A Hard Day's Night by the Beatles premiered in London, England. In 1965, Marty Balin started forming the group Jefferson Airplane. In 1966, Elvis Presley's movie Paradise Hawaiian Style opened and Mike Dabo became the lead singer for Manfred Mann. In 1967, Pink Floyd performed on British television's Top of the Pops music TV show for the very first time. In 1969, Mick Jagger started filming the movie Ned Kelly. In 1971, Bjorn Ulvaeus and Agnetha Fautskog of ABBA were married. In 1972, David Bowie created controversy in England when he put his arms around guitarist Mick Ronson during his performance of his song Starman on the British TV show Top of the Pops. In 1974, the Hughes Corporation became the first disco group to hit number one on the Billboard Singles Chart with the song Rock the Boat. In 1977, the event that inspired Pink Floyd's album The Wall happened when Roger Waters yelled at the crowd during Pink Floyd's concert in Montreal, Canada for setting off fireworks and being unruly. In 1978, Tammy Wynette married record producer George Ritchie. In 1984, the Jacksons started their Victory Tour, which was the last time that Michael Jackson toured with his brothers. In 1988, Neil Young's video for his song This Notes for You about music artists selling their songs to corporations for commercials was banned by MTV because it mentioned corporate brands like Coke and Pepsi, which was sort of the point of the song. The video ended up winning Video of the Year, by the way, at that year's MTV Video Music Awards. Go figure. In 1990, the animated movie Jetsons, the movie co-starring the voice of singer Tiffany, premiered in movie theaters. In 1991, B.B. King and James Brown performed in Zagreb, Croatia. In 1991, same day, Mary Travers of Peter, Paul and Mary married restaurant owner Ethan Robbins. In 1994, the movie Forrest Gump opened. The movie spawned a hit soundtrack of songs from the 1950s to the 1970s and also made the phrase, Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Popular. Sadly, popular. Anywho, in 1999, Richie Havens published the book They Can't Hide Us Anymore, which was his autobiography. In 2009, Ryan Ross and John Walker left the group Panic at the Disco, and on that same day, Alanis Morissette started her acting role on the TV show Weeds. In 2016, singer Ciara married football player Russell Wilson. In 2019, Lil Nas X's song Old Town Road with Billy Ray Cyrus broke the record set by three other songs for the longest hip-hop song at number one when it started its 13th straight week at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart. The song would eventually break the record for longest number one reign on that chart regardless of genre and still holds the record at 19 consecutive weeks. In classical music in 1877, Piotr Tchaikovsky married his wife Antonina Milyakova. In 1975, Dmitry Shostakovich finished his sonate for Alto Opus 147. In theater, in 1946, the Broadway show St. Louis Woman closed, and in 1997, the Broadway musical Dream, the Johnny Mercer musical, closed. Albums that were released on July 6th include in 1971 when MC5 released High Time and Diana Ross released Surrender. In 1972, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer released Trilogy. In 1973, Steely Dan released Countdown to Ecstasy. In 1979, the B-52s released their self-titled album. 
1981, Pat Benatar released Precious Time. In 1984, to coincide with their tour, the Jacksons released Victory. Also in 1984, Public Image Limited released This Is What You Want and This Is What You Get. In 1985, Heart released their self-titled album. In 1986, Quiet Riot released QR3 and Supertramp released the autobiography of Supertramp. In 1987, Echo and the Bunnymen released their self-titled album and The Grateful Dead released In the Dark. In 1993, Todd Rundgren released No World Order. In 1998, Miss Kitten and the Hacker released Champagne. In 1999, Dawkin released The Very Best of Dawkin. In 2013, New Order released Live at the Bestable 2012. In 2018, Culture Club released Tribes. And in 2020, the 85-year-old Dalai Lama released his debut album of Buddhist prayers with music called Inner World. Singles that were released on July 6th include in 1959 when Johnny Preston released Running Bear. In 1976, Brick released Daz. In 1979, the B-52s released Planet Claire. In 1981, Pat Benatar released Fire and Ice. In 1983, the Doobie Brothers released You Belong to Me. And in 1985, Pat Benatar released the theme song from the Legend of Billie Jean movie, Invincible. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 6th include rapper 50 Cent, singer-songwriter Nancy Griffith, Bill Haley of Bill Haley and His Comets, Tim Briceno of Sisters of Mercy, John Keeble of Spandau Ballet, Mike Shreve of Santana, Rick Ellswit of Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show, singer-songwriter Gene Chandler, singer-songwriter Big D. Irwin, entertainer extraordinaire Miss Della Reese, jazz drummer Louis Belson, singer Jan Bradley, singer Phyllis Hyman, composer Emile Jacques Dalcroze, singer Jack Duff, rapper Kumza Thizine, singer Courtney Hadwin, rapper Roma, Rapper A1 Bentley, Laverne Andrews of the Andrews Sisters, country music singer Jeannie Seeley, bassist John Baz of the Blasters, trumpet player Rick Braun, conductor Vladimir Ashkrenazy, country music multi instrumentalist John Jurgison, Stu G of Delirious, Martin Smith of Delirious, for the record, Stu G is actually seven years older than Martin, born on the same date, but not the same year. Singer-songwriter Heather Nova, a rapper Inspector Deck of the Wu-Tang Clan. Singer-songwriter Kate Nash, composer Hans Eisler, opera singer Dorothy Kirsten, opera singer Ernst Helfliger, and songwriter Jack Yellen. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 6th include composer Nicolas Bernier, who passed away in 1734 at the age of 69. Composer Ferdinand Zelbel the Elder passed away in 1765 at the age of 76. Composer and also the founder of the Ephrata community, Conrad Bizel, passed away in 1768 at the age of 78. Composer George Petri passed away in 1795 at the age of 79. Composer Philip Meissner passed away in 1816 at the age of 67. Organist Jan Dolezalek passed away in 1858 at the age of 78. Pianist Alexandra Goria passed away in 1860 at the age of 37. Composer Samuel Lover passed away in 1868 at the age of 71. 
Organist Henry Smart passed away in 1879 at the age of 65. Composer Alexander Feminstin passed away in 1896 at the age of 54. Composer Leopoldo Miguel passed away in 1902 at the age of 51. Conductor Robert Kekjanis passed away in 1933 at the age of 76. Trumpet player Fats Navarro passed away from a myriad of health issues in 1950 at the age of 26. Composer Josef Hutel passed away in 1951 at the age of 57. Pianist Paolo Gallico passed away in 1955 at the age of 87. Jazz bassist Scott LaFaro of the Bill Evans Trio passed away in a car accident in 1961 at the age of 25. The man they called Satchmo, jazz trumpet player and entertainer and one of the most important entertainment figures in pop culture history, Louis Armstrong passed away from heart issues in 1971 at the age of 69. We discuss more about Louis Armstrong's life and death in our Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this channel. Please like and subscribe it when you hear it. The conductor of the Los Angeles Philharmonic from 1933 to 1939, Otto Klemperer passed away in 1973 at the age of 88. Composer Carlos Isamit passed away in 1974 at the age of 87. The violin is for the Israel Philharmonic from 1938 to 1956. Odeon Partos passed away in 1977 at the age of 69. The recording artist whose big hit was the song and dance The Hustle, Van McCoy, passed away from heart issues in 1979 at the age of 39. Organist Ivor Keys passed away in 1995 at the age of 76. Composer Joaquin Rodrigo passed away in 1999 at the age of 97. Jazz saxophonist Akira Miyazawa passed away in 2000 at the age of 72. Pianist Sladislaw Spilman passed away in 2000 at the age of 88. Composer Istvan Sarkozy passed away in 2002 at the age of 81. Skip Batten of the Birds passed away in 2003 at the age of 69. Singer Sarita Wright passed away in 2004 at the age of 58. Opera singer Richard Vero passed away in 2005 at the age of 79. Record producer and critic Cal Lampley passed away in 2006 at the age of 82. Jazz drummer Bobby Durham passed away in 2008 at the age of 71. Folk singer Johnny Collins passed away in 2009 at the age of 71. Motown record executive, producer, and singer with the Moon Glows, Harvey Fuqua passed away in 2010 at the age of 80. Jazz saxophonist Kathy Stobart passed away in 2014 at the age of 89. Jazz pianist Masabumi Kikuchi passed away in 2015 at the age of 75. The man nicknamed the father of the bossa nova, singer and guitarist Jao Gilberto, passed away in 2019 at the age of 88. Entertainer Martin Shernan passed away in 2019 at the age of 84. Country music singer and fiddler Charlie Daniels passed away in 2020 at the age of 83. Film composer Ennio Morricone passed away in 2020 at the age of 91. Session drummer and also the father of the Picaro brothers of the band Toto, Joe Picaro passed away in 2020 at the age of 90. And the conductor of the Philadelphia Pops Orchestra from 1979 to 2013, Peter Nero passed away in 2023 at the age of 89. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 7th, when in 2005, terrorism strikes London, England, and among the victims is a Calypso artist.